yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, sink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day Now we on road, came from What is good, J.I. Squad? And welcome back to yet again Another episode of J.I. Productions It's your boy, J.I. And I'm back at it again with another banger video for y'all Now, as y'all can tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video We will be doing a little bit of maintenance on Vader after the drag strip So as y'all can see, we got Vader sitting right here But we also got a special guest We got my boy NWD Mero, if I'm not mistaken on IG Y'all make sure y'all go tap in with him just did a quick little inspection on his car for him. But anyway, got Vader sitting right here. And like I said, by the title and the thumbnail, you guys know we will be doing some maintenance on the car. Um, since we went to the drag strip last Friday, we did about eight passes. And I think four of those were hot laps. So I want to go ahead and change the oil on the car. Just make sure, uh, you know what I'm saying, we're not having any metal fragments or anything like that in the oil. We do have an oil catch can on the car now. Shout out to Bull Boost performance and also shout out to my boy Manny Built for the install but I just want to go ahead and get this oil changed on the car just make sure the oil is good get some fresh oil in the system and uh, you know what I'm saying we'll be able to chill I usually change my oil before I go to the drag strip but this time I didn't so with that being said I just want to make sure that everything is good and get some fresh oil in there so let's go ahead get a quick little cold start and then we'll pull the car in and uh take a look at what the oil looks like never had the issue of where you know you go to turn the car on and you got to turn it on about six five times before it actually cuts on um, it, granted it hasn't been cold yet so we'll see what it's like in the winter time but we're gonna let the car warm up a little bit and then I'll pull the new shot all right y'all currently got Vader up in the air about to go ahead and one thing that I am noticing y'all is I don't know why but on six gens all six gens they do this like sweating stuff from the oil pan and it actually look like you got a leak but you don't it's just sweating I don't understand why it does that but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get to draining this oil we'll see what color it is and whatnot y'all can see no weird coloring there's no flaking or anything like that it looks good it looks good so I wasn't expecting anything less but just wanted to make sure you can never be too sure so I'm gonna go ahead and drain this joint replace the filter looking at everything under here exhaust is still holding up well headers are holding up well got a couple scrapes but nothing too crazy nothing too wild you know what I'm saying they're really thinking about replacing this entire exhaust um, well not the entire thing but making it so that I can take this big old muffler off and uh, just run dumps for when I go to the drag strip but um, as of right now we'll we got that in the works we'll get it taken care of but for right now the exhaust setup is definitely lit sounds great as y'all know but uh yeah i definitely want to make it to where i can remove this and run straight dumps so it'll basically be just straight pipe from the headers back to like dump like right here so yeah
with y'all so now that we got the car down it's time to fill it up with some oil if you guys did not know these joints take 10 quarts of oil full synthetic oil so i'm gonna go ahead and drop this mobile one in here and uh prime it and then cut it on and i'll show you guys how to reset the oil light um and then that'll be it so we just filled it up with 10 quarts of mobile one about to go ahead prime it real quick check the dipstick and then we'll be good to fire up for real, for real. All right, so for my people that don't know how to prime a vehicle, basically what you do is you hold the gas and the brake down. You hold your foot on the gas pedal and the brake pedal at the same time. While you're doing that, hold the start button. And then let it go. Let the car run for a little bit, a couple seconds, kill it. And then you're gonna wanna check that dipstick real quick. My bad y'all, check that dipstick real quick. Should be good. Now the oil change is done. You can go ahead, close the hood, hop in the car, cut it on, hit the reset on the oil. And I'll show y'all how to do that if you don't know. So basically. All you gotta do is turn the car into accessory mode so it has power. All right. So then once you get the screen to pop up, don't mind all the lights I got, not the check engine light. Obviously the power, the car is in accessory mode so that's why the check engine light is on. But the tire pressure light is on because I have the candy apple reds on right now. So what you wanna do is you wanna go here to the oil light it's at 81% because like I said, just went to the track. I wanted to get some fresh oil in there. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use the toggles to go through your information pages. And then you'll press and hold the select button until you see your oil life reset to 100%. And once you see that, you can go ahead and fire the car up and you're good to go. Alright y'all, and just like that, that is actually going to wrap up today's video. Quick little video on how to do an oil change on your Camaro. That goes for literally every single 6th gen from 2016 all the way up to 2022. It's very, very simple, 15 millimeter bolt. Um, if you're using a Mighty uh, filter, it's going to be a 48. Any other ones, I don't know the part number for it, but it does take 10 quarts of full synthetic oil. Um, I went ahead, filled it up with that mobile one, as you guys saw. Takes about five minutes, really 10, if you're filming like I was, but if not, then five minutes flat, you can probably get an oil change knocked out in the driveway, at the shop, wherever you gotta do it. But it's very simple. Um, with that being said, y'all, the oil looked great, which I'm excited about. Um, I was a little worried, you know what I'm saying? Whenever you go to the drag strip and you beat on a car like that, you know what I'm saying? It's always good to make sure you stay on top of the maintenance. And that goes for any car, honestly, but but when you're daily in your race car, you want to make sure that you stand on top of all maintenance requirements. So with that being said, y'all, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one, man. Let's go ahead and roll that outro. Peace.